Buy a ViewSonic monitor right now. Thank you. So I'm doing a little experiment because I want to improve my aim in Destiny 2. It's something I'm very interested in because if Trials of Osiris comes back, I want to be one of the best players. I want to try to carry people through Trials, and if I'm going to do that, I need to be really, really good. And the players that are on PC are really, really good. In most of my skill-based match-made lobbies, uh, it can be pretty tough to win. And uh, if I'm going to do this, I want to feel like I'm in control of these wins, I want to feel like I'm landing my shots, and so I've actually been talking to my buddy Sir Demetrius. We did a 1v1 a while ago, we did some Crimson Double stuff the other day, and uh, he uses a thing called Kovacs. Now, if you guys don't know what Kovacs is, I actually did a poll on Twitter, and a bunch of people were like, what the hell is that? <laughs> like, no one really knew what it was. And you might not know what that is. I didn't even know what that was until Sir Demetrius mentioned it, that he uses Kovacs before every time he jumps on and plays. Now, I understand that these clips might not be super amazing, but these clips were taken right after I played it, and I have to say, it was the most warmed up I think I have ever felt jumping on Destiny fresh for the day. Typically, I jump into Rumble, I get swatted around a little bit by some of these players, uh, and eventually I catch my groove and I feel good. But I decided to try this aim trainer thing out and give it a go for 10, 15, 20 minutes before, and then jump into Destiny. And I felt like my aim was on point. I felt like I was super comfortable out there. And I started thinking, if I was to do this every day, practice on this thing, and, and really commit to it, what sort of impact would it have on me as a player? And so I want to do a bit of an experiment. Here's what I was thinking. This Kovacs thing has multiple game modes. There's a training mode similar to this, and it will actually tell you where you missed and why you missed. It tells you how many targets you hit, and you can get an idea of what's going wrong with your aim. Are you overcorrecting? Are you undercorrecting? Are you sucking when you're trying to aim into the top right or the top left? Do you suck if something was jumping? And I think that this will be a great tool. There are other little mini games if you want to practice something like your auto rifle tracing and things like that. And there are simple targets for you to hit if you would like, and you can see how many targets you can hit in a minute, and then it will check your accuracy as well. So here's what I was thinking. I'm definitely going to use this to warm up uh, kind of daily before I play, but I'm also going to commit 10, 15, maybe even 20 minutes a day for the next, you know, couple weeks, three weeks, four weeks before Trials launches, and just see what kind of changes I make as a player. Now, I really don't know what sort of effect this will have. I'm 28 years old. I don't know if I can improve my aim that drastically. Maybe I can. And I don't know if this will directly translate to uh, God-tier Destiny plays, but I would like to at least see. I would at least try it. And my plan is, even though I won't post all the time, I won't really talk about this, I'm not going to showcase footage of this uh, that often, if at all, I'm going to track things uh, just kind of on a personal level, and you can see here I'm getting in the 80% range, maybe 130, 140 targets, and I'm going to see what happens after a month. I'm going to see if I can crank this up to 190 targets, 200 targets, can I get 95 accuracy? I have no idea what will happen, but I'm going to commit some major time to this and see if it translates into Destiny 2. But then I started thinking, there are a lot of people that message me and say, hey, how do I get better at uh, using mouse and keyboard? And I started thinking to myself, this is probably a damn good way. Is this the best way? I have no idea. Is this going to be better than just playing the game? I truly don't know. But if someone like myself can jump on and I do notice improvements, I will be sure to let you guys know and give you an update on how I'm feeling. If I think it's worth it for you, you can go spend the 12 or $14, I can't remember exactly what it is. You can try it yourself and, you know, maybe it'll be a big benefit for you. Maybe you can make the swap, but this is my plan going forward. I'm going to really commit to this and see what happens. If nothing else, this is a great way to warm up. I'll be excited for that, but I would love to see some major improvements because there are times where my aim is sloppy. If I practice, right, if I play a bunch, if I'm consistent, my aim definitely can get into a top tier level. I've played sweats against some of the best players in the world, and I was able to hang. 
Did I dominate? No. Did I go super negative some games? Yes. But there were a lot of times where I could do decently well. And if I could just tune in that aim, if I could just tighten things up a little bit, could I become one of the better players in Destiny? I know it's kind of a joke that m Tashed is sort of uh, a jokester, a meme, you know, a, a mid-tier player in some people's eyes. I understand that I'm a top player in some people's eyes as well, but if you compare me to some of the sweat players or, or some of those like super, super good players like Panda uh, or Sir Demetrius and, and, and Lil Sonic and those guys, those guys are nuts. They are so damn good. And maybe because they're younger, maybe they played mouse and keyboard more hours than me, I don't know. But I would love to see, with a mixture of playing the game more and doing some legitimate training outside of just the game, if I could hit that level. Because I think that that would be a cool thing and it's gonna be a fun challenge uh, moving forward. I understand that if I play slow, I can win games and I can dominate and, you know, that's destiny. But I would love to be able to dominate more because of my aim than my game sense. Because I think that is one of my weaknesses. In panic situations on PC, I tend to fall apart quite a bit. When I play slow and I know what's coming, I can typically do pretty good. But I feel like back in the day on console, I was comfortable in the craziest panic situations possible. I never really questioned my gun skill or if I could clutch that 1v3 because more often than not, I could. My aim was there, I felt comfortable, I felt like I knew exactly what was going to happen every time an engagement started. But I legitimately never feel that way on PC. Even with all the practice I put in over the years, even playing PUBG and Fortnite, playing a bit of Overwatch and hundreds of hours of this game. I've never felt completely 100% comfortable with PC aiming. I've always felt, ugh, I'd probably be better on con <laughs> controller, I'd probably be better on console, I spent most of my life playing Halo back in the day, I feel like a rookie. And I'm questioning, can I change that? And uh, if it works, I'm gonna let you guys know. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do an update to this video, uh, I'll title it, you know, becoming an aim god, <laughs> Kovacs results, or something like that, I don't know. Uh, I'll make a video and I will tell you guys if I finally feel like I'm fully in control of my aim on PC. And if it's worth buying something like an aim trainer, because I truly don't know. I can't review it, I've only used it for one day. So I don't want to bait a bunch of you into saying like, oh yeah, go get this, because I really don't know. Will it actually help? Or... Could it maybe even bugger up my aim because it's slightly different? I don't know. And that's something that I want to find out. Now, I have heard from many people that it is awesome. It's a great way to warm up. And once you get used to it and uh, you make sure you have the right settings and everything, it's a no-brainer. But I got to see this for myself. Because the aim, uh, flicking my shots, the snipes, they don't feel crisp. I can definitely pop off. I can definitely lay into people from time to time, but the amount of times that I miss and I don't get a three tap, I feel like is an issue at this point, especially with things like trials and with the cranked up skill-based matchmaking, I run into some players that flat out are better aimers, are better gamers, and I can't keep up in a lot of lobbies um, uh, in 1v1 duels, unfortunately. That being said, if you watch this video and you said, hey, do you know what? I'm kind of curious about this. I've heard about this Kovacs or different aim trainers. I would say maybe try a free one first. Uh, if you want to buy one, you can, but try a free one first and get an idea of if you like playing things like that. The one thing I will say is even though I don't know the long-term effects, I definitely 100% felt warmed up and ready to play when I jumped on. I felt like I was in control of my, my keyboard and my mouse. I felt like I was, uh, you know, warmed up 100% and my aim did feel pretty damn consistent even after the first time playing. Now, I don't know about the long-term effects. I don't know if it's going to be, uh, you know, leading to better aim. But if nothing else, it could be a great tool to warm up, get into the game, and not be a, a rusty bag of <laughs> garbage uh, if you're coming home from work 
uh, or coming home from school and playing your first few games. At least for me, because sometimes I pop off and sometimes I feel rusty. So if I can uh, alleviate some of that and start off the stream popping off, I think that's going to be a bonus. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching all the way to the 10 minute mark. You guys are legends. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Actually, let me kill this guy first. Ah!